iOS, the mobile operating system that the iPhone runs, is actually smart enough to kill apps on its own. For years, iOS has included the ability to force close an app by accessing the app switcher view, while the look and feel of multitasking have changed with different iOS updates. The basic functionality and intent have stayed the same. The app switcher is just an easy way for users to quickly jump between recently used apps. This isn't to say that there aren't times to manually close apps, but generally there's no need to force an app to close unless it's unresponsive, according to Apple. Some apps will run for a short period of time before they're set to a suspended state, Apple's documentation reads. This means they're not actively in use, open, or taking up system resources. When you return to these apps, they'll open instantly. The only case where closing apps could prove useful is if a buggy app is forcibly staying open in the background and draining your battery. This could apply to something like a Maps app that needs to stay open to tracking your location, but once its job is done, your trip is over. It should close on its own. The tech giant commented on recent reports that closing all your apps in this way can impact the function of your iPhone, confirming that this is actually true. The problem is that many of us see our recently used apps and presume it means the apps are running, prompting us to close them down to save power. In reality, though, this is actually having the opposite effect. These apps aren't actually running, but rather are on standby. According to Sun, Apple states, when your recently used apps appear, the apps aren't open, but they're in standby mode to help you navigate and multitask. The company explains, you should force an app to close only if it's unresponsive. When you're using an iOS app, say Safari, it's accessing the CPU and radios and thus using battery power. However, a few seconds after you return to the home screen or lock the screen, Safari goes into a suspended state. In that state, it's not using battery power, but it does remain in memory, which turns out to be important. Say you next open Notes, Notes become the active app and start consuming CPU and other resources. Tap a web link in a note, and iOS activates Safari and suspends notes. Because Safari is still in memory, it activates instantly. If Safari had been quit, launching it again would take longer and use more power. As you continue switching between apps, all those suspended apps may need more memory than is available. To solve that problem, iOS makes smart choices about which apps to quit to free up memory. If you quit apps manually, you're forcing iOS to waste resources later when those apps have to be launched afresh. It's like parking your car three blocks away instead of using free and speedy valet parking. The truth is, that habit is a waste of time. For proof, restart your phone, then double press the home button without launching anything, you'll see all of the same recent apps in the app switcher despite the fact that iOS has been completely rebooted and nothing has been opened. The only time you should force an app to close is if it becomes unresponsive or erratic. For example, if you're using Facebook and the app has crashed, return to the home screen, then double press the home button, then swipe up on the Facebook window to force it to close. Reopening Facebook should return the app to its normal state. If you're truly worried about battery life and performance, Actual effective ways of improving it include lowering your screen brightness, manually turning on the iOS low power mode, or digging into settings to disable background app refresh under settings, then general. There is one situation where quitting manually makes sense. When an app is frozen or confused, if you need to quit an app, double press the home button to invoke the app switcher and then swipe up on the apps card. You can launch the app again from the home screen. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon for more updates and notifications. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.